Hi everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a nice big haul, um, but before I get into that, you will probably notice if you have been here before that we are in a change of environment and setting. Um, we're in my living room today, uh, my, it's really hot and my bedroom it was just too hot, so I've moved us downstairs. Um, if you're new here, just to give you a heads up, I do have two pugs, you will probably hear them throughout this video snoring or Lola is currently barking in the garden but we deal with it and move on. <laughs> um, I have got as always my body on, this is just from H&M, I always do a haul in this because I wear them on a night out. They're not so much a hold in, they're just a smooth everything down and they're really comfortable so that's what I've got on. Um, I'm going to pick the outfits out or the pieces out that I've got, show you them, tell you the size and the price and then try them on and we'll see what we're thinking. So the first piece that we have is this beautiful green shirt dress and I just fell in love with this colour. I used to have, actually I still have it, a dress similar to this from Primark. It had a pattern on the back and I used to get so many compliments and it's one of those, one of those dresses that I still keep and do get out every now and then. It also comes with this little tie as well. Um, I got this in a size 16 and I can't believe I paid £9 for this. So that was in the sale and an absolute bargain. So fingers crossed, it looks nice. So here is the green shirt dress. It is short. I'm five for eight for reference. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to do the button up on the sleeve. Um, and yeah, it is short. This is what it looks like from the back. So it does go a lot longer at the back, which I really like. Um, but it's really short at the front. One thing that really confuses me about this dress is the belt loops are here by my hip, yeah? So if we belt it with this little matchy bit of material, <laughs> er thing is gonna come out, mark my words, er thing. Because I'm not belting it down here. I would belt it up here so I feel like that is a weird design I mean nobody wants to see that much leg so it's a bit of a weird design in that respect um, I probably wouldn't belt it anyway and if I did I'd use a bit of a statement belt but these belt loops for me are just in a really unusual place for nine pounds it's a really sweet dress um, and in winter with thick black tights and boots it would look really cute I, I would really like that also on holiday if we're ever allowed on holiday over um, a bikini or a swimming costume would look really nice around the pool as well. Um, so there's a lot of pros there. I just wish, what is that? What is that? Next up is this really adorable flower print high neck dress. It's so pretty. I'm gonna come in closer so you can see the pattern on the fabric. It feels really nicely made. Um, you can tell that it's got a lining underneath and then the sleeves are sheer and it's got a invisible zip at the back. Let's check, I paid, so I got this in a size 18 because I remember they didn't have any 16s and I got this for 12 pounds. Um, so yeah, let's try Okay, it. here's the floral dress on and I really like it. It's really similar to one that I got recently. I think it was the PLT haul that I did. For £12, this is nice. Um, it is on the short side. Um, again, tall girl problems. I mean, I'm not overly tall, but I would say potentially if you're any taller than 5 foot 8. Oh, okay, so let's work from the top and work our way down. It's got this really tight collar, which is comfortable. It's not strangling you. 
Um, it's got an invisible zip at the back, which I'll show you in a moment. It comes down really nicely over the bust. I'm a, I'm not massively busted, but I'm not small. I'm a double D E and it fits really comfortably around the bust. No problems there. It's not tight. There's room. Then it comes here, this nice band at my smallest part, which I like, um, and it's comfortable. Then it comes down nicely over the tummy. It doesn't flare, flare, flare. It doesn't flare out, but it's comfortable. I don't feel restricted. I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like it's clinging in any horrible way. And the material itself feels really well made. As I said before, it's double lined. It's comfortable. This little frill at the bottom is everything to me. I think that's so flattering. I think it's really lovely and just gives you that little bit of extra protection as well. The sleeves are so nice. Sorry. One of the dogs is barking and kicking off as always. So as I was saying, the sleeves, I absolutely love these. Um, they're a nice length and I just think, think this frill, I just think this frill comes really lovely over the hand. I hope that the camera's picking that up. The arms are sheer and they're just really comfortable and really nice. This is the dress from the back, as I said, it's got an invisible zip that comes all the way up and it is short but it comes over the bum and the frill sits nicely there which I personally really like. I think that's quite flattering and I would definitely wear this out so I'm keeping this especially for the price. Let me know your thoughts Next up one. is this stone cord smock mini dress. Uh, this was in the Jacqueline Jose range. This was £22 and I got it in a size 16. Now it looks stunning on her. And when I get it out, oh, I feel like it looks a bit like a potato sack. So we don't know until you try things on. And that's why you just need to try things on sometimes. Um, but yeah, if I was browsing around a shop, I probably wouldn't pick it up. But like I said, it looked beautiful on her. It's this nice stone colour. And I'm going to come in so you can see. It's like this corduroy pattern. Well, not a pattern material. Okay, I really try and see the positives, um, but I feel like a sack of potatoes. I don't know if it's the colour. I do usually like a smock dress. I am not a fan of corduroy material. However, reminds me of an ex that used to be obsessed with these corduroy trousers and ugh, they put me off for life. This could look really sweet belted, um, but again, it sh it's, it's quite short on me. It's not scarily short um i just feel for me personally it's not the most flattering dress it would look really cute teamed up with trainers heels or like chunky biker boots which i'd probably wear it if i was to keep it with chunky biker boots it's comfortable and i think the sleeve length is really nice but i do feel like a sack of potatoes in it um i just don't I don't know if it's the colour and the style mixed together because I do normally like this style and I do usually like this sort of colour as well. I don't know if just together, oh, it's just giving me that sack of spud feel, you know. Um, it's short as well, so when I lift my arms up, oh, there's the light. I mean, oh, not a good look. Um, this is the dress from the back. Um, the hem sits at a nice point at the back, just above your bum. It's comfortable, but it's not for me and for the price as well. I feel like I could get something similar, which I'm more in love with. So I'm trying not to keep things that I'm not in love with. And yeah, this isn't one for me. Well, I got this um, Jacqueline Jose black satin floral wrap midi dress. This was £22.50 and I got it in a size 16. Now these were really fashionable last year and I never got one because I felt for my shape they just probably wouldn't suit. But then I've never actually tried one on so we don't know. It's this wrap around skirt. This is the material. It's really pretty um, and it just wraps around your uh, waist and you tie it up with the two ties here. It looks very basic um, and you could probably get very similar ones a bit cheaper but it might look nice so let's try it on. Here is the skirt and just as I thought I just don't think they're for me. I think they look fantastic on curvier girls, I absolutely do, but I think for me the problem is, is I'm quite small at my waist here compared to my hips, 
So I think I can't get it to sit comfortably and where I feel secure because my waist is so much smaller. However, the skirt is really pretty. Um, I wish it had a button of some sort because I just feel like if it just came undone by accident, oh, it could be scary. Um, it has this slit up the front which is nice and it's a lovely length and if you like these skirts and if you feel that they suit you then I'd absolutely say that it's definitely a nice one to have. I mean come on, how cool is this? It smells really funny, it smells like vinegar, nothing a good wash won't sort out. Um, but these just crack me up, I think this is absolutely hilarious <laughs> and I love it, I'm just going to come in so you can see it a bit closer. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. Um, this jumper cost me £18. Um, it's called the Gemma Collins White The GC Meme Unisex Sweatshirt and it's a size 16 to 18 that I got. Um, I'm buzzing, man. I'm, I hope it fits and looks nice because this is a look it. right now. I know. Don't be jealous. But how cool is this? I wouldn't wear it with these cream joggers but it's just so that you can see it without seeing my bum. Um, I love it. She's fabulous. She's a diva and I feel like a diva in this jumper. It needs a wash. It really smells like vinegar, like badly. But the fit is great. I love how oversized it is. Um, and you can bag it up as well. Um, I feel like not a lot needs to be said about it because you can see how fantastic it is on its own i feel okay, cool next up is another uh gemma collins item and it's got oh, so annoying it's got foundation on the collar which again it's nothing a wash won't sort out so obviously someone's tried it before and sent it back but it's just a little bit annoying but anyway um it's the old famous um i'm single i'm taken i'm claustrophobic darren uh yeah hilarious i got my best friend this one in black um these are just standard t-shirts with them printed on but i just think they're so funny this is the uh, Gemma collins white i'm claustrophobic darren meme unisex t-shirt 16 to 18 and i paid 13 pound 50. okay it's a bit creased could do with an iron but we'll look past that um it's a basic standard unisex t-shirt nothing to write home about there but this is everything to me <laughs> it's everything it's so cool um yeah it's a nice baggy t-shirt sleeves are nice again it's a unisex t-shirt i wouldn't wear it like that i would uh tie it or roll it up and tuck it under um yeah i'm i'm living life uh i feel like this will be a staple piece of my wardrobe for years to come and uh after that I'll wear it to bed. So. I'm excited for this next piece. It's a light grey jersey wrap front jumpsuit. I got it in a size 18 and it was £16.20 and it's a lounge wear like jumpsuit. I'd wear it around the house but my other ones, sort of my onesies and my other jumpsuits have got like this all long sleeves and quite thick whereas I like this has got a short sleeve and the material feels really nice um it's all the way down to the ankle which i'll show you once i've got it on so yeah fingers crossed is what you will see me living in for the foreseeable future this is exactly what i wanted it's so comfy i personally wouldn't wear this out the house i would wear this as a lounge set around the house and maybe if i needed to run to the shops quickly this is long if you've got long legs or you're tall you will be fine in this let's start at the top and work our way down so i love the v uh, it's got this little string here which is annoying because it doesn't do anything but it's really elasticated here so i don't see any reason why you would need to tighten up that area um i like the v on it and it sort of wraps over like this the sleeves really comfortable really nice the material as a whole is nice it comes down here and it is a low crutch <laughs> but you know you can pull it up and again i'm just going to wear it for being comfy around the house so for me that's fine if you want to wear this out of the house 
might be something to think about. This is long. I'm gonna stand on the couch and show you. This is all the way past my ankle and my foot. It is long, so you tall girls will be fine with this. Um, this is how it looks at the back. So again, bit of a long crutch, but I've got a bit of a booty, so I don't mind that, it's comfy. And the elastic continues there and it just folds over the back, which I think is really flattering. Um, if this was an outfit that you would wear out, it would be really great as an airport outfit or anything like that. Again, if that stage ever comes again in our lives. I would have liked it if there were some pockets. There isn't, but it's cool. I love it, I'm gonna live in it. It's comfy, and for the price, yeah, I'm really glad I got it. I would advise going up a size um, if you want it for that lounge set sort of comfort. I got this in an 18 and I'm really glad I did. Um, so yeah, more Gemma Collins stuff, I'm a bit obsessed. Next up is a Gemma Collins Grey Boring Next Meme Unisex Sweatshirt. Again, 16 to 18, and I paid 18 pounds. I love this one. It's grey, which I love. Um, but yeah, it's just, I'll come a bit closer to see. Yeah. I just think it's so cool. Um, it's the same size as the other one, but I feel like it looks a little bit smaller. But we'll see when it's on, fingers crossed. Okay, this makes absolutely no sense to me. I got this one in the same size as the white one, and this one is really small. Um, I'm a true 16, <sighs> even with quarantine, I wouldn't say that I'm an 18. Um, and I do expect some of these um, sort of online shops to come up a little bit smaller sometimes anyway. But this band is really tight down the bottom. I know we're never gonna wear it like that, but I don't want to put a big jumper on and feel restricted. Um, yes, I could absolutely wear it like that. And I, I, you know, that is how I would probably wear it anyway. But just a heads up, I've got two jumpers there um, from the same range but different colours and they are coming up differently so I don't mind because I will wear it like this and it looks cute and I would normally tuck them up anyway um, but if that isn't how you wanted to wear it it's just good for you to know that that is the case um, with that being said I love it in the grey and I love the boring next uh, phrase on there and I know it's not jumper season but you know it does get colder in the evenings here and let's be honest it's not that sunny uh, for long in England and our luck it will be will be stuck inside for most of the sunshine so yeah that's that but it's just worth knowing that the sizes did differ oh, we've there. got the curve Megan grub satin jacquard plunge front bodysuit I got this in a size 16 and I paid 10 pounds and it's really pretty material um, I'm gonna come in close so you can see but it's this lovely light baby blue I hope the camera's picking that colour up and it's got this lovely floral pattern on it um, and I just I just felt for £10 uh, this could be a really nice outfit for when we're allowed back outside again oh, so cool. yeah that. Um, so oh, I'm a bit disappointed for I would have liked to have kept it for the price but I'm not going to just because it's cheap I'm not going to keep it I can't deal with this. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, if you're smaller busted and you are cool with not wearing a bra, or even if you're bigger busted and you're cool with not wearing a bra, then fine, you could put some titty tape on. Um, but Or if you wanted to make a statement with a cute little bralette, then great. But for me, I think you could definitely stitch it just here if you wanted to um i mean and i'm all about getting the girls out i'm down for that i'm cool with that but it's just a little bit too much for me um and then it comes down to the body part which sits at a nice um place it's just on my belly button so that's fine um 
but I just am trying to think how likely I would be to really wear it and because of this situation it could look really cute with a pair of black jeans or um, leather look trousers but this is just putting me off and I know if I was to keep it it would just sit in my wardrobe and never be worn the sleeves are really pretty I love this blown out effect with this a bit of elastic here I think that's really flattering and this is what it looks like from the back so yeah it's nice and if you could see yourself wearing it with this whole situation then I'd, I'd recommend it but for me I just know that it would sit in my wardrobe and I probably would never wear it again. Next up is a Gemma Collins white mood uh, oversized peace sign meme t-shirt and it, again they're unisex so get one for your boyfriend or your, or your best bo uh, boy pals. Uh, £13.50 size 16 to 18. If I had a boyfriend we would be wearing matching we would any uh single guys out there that want to wear matching Gemma Collins t-shirts and uh give us a call again similar to the other one I don't think there's a massive amount to say but just how cool it is it's a basic unisex t-shirt again exactly the same as the last one um I wouldn't even say that they're like the best printed on you know um they do appear a bit cheap, I'm not gonna lie, but because I love it so much and I think it's so funny, I can look past that, everything, and I'm pretty impressed. I am quite impressed with In The Style as a whole. Um, the first green dress, I'm umming and ahhing about keeping it or not. Please let me know your thoughts. I do think it's one of those dresses that will come in handy in winter, like black tights, boots for a last minute sort of dinner or, or drinks um, and for nine quid I probably will keep it but I'd love to hear your thoughts. The floral dress is probably one of my favourite pieces um, of the haul to be honest which I was really surprised about I didn't think it would be and again was a real bargain. I'm keeping all the Gemma Collins stuff you might think I'm crazy I am I love it I don't know why I find it great um, the sand colour potato sack dress, not for me, not keeping it. Love the jumpsuit, I'm definitely keeping that, that's going to be super comfy. And I'm not going to keep the skirt and I'm not going to keep the body top, so I think that was everything. But I really appreciate you watching, if you've enjoyed this and you like hauls, um, then please do give me a subscribe, a thumbs up and I love hearing all your comments. I will link everything below. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you may be and I will see you in the next one. Mm.